All right, uh, I wasn't gonna record this morning. Look at that, that's beautiful. I wasn't gonna record this morning, um, but we powered the Global up and it's got a fault. So we'll troubleshoot it together. I'll show you what we got and uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna access the um, emergency equipment bay. Not emergency equipment, the avionics bay. Uh, Cause I think I'm gonna have to pull a circuit breaker in here. But essentially we have a uh, one of our IASCs, integrated air system controllers, is reporting that it's receiving invalid data from a pressure sensor. Now, the majority of the sensors on this aircraft are multi-channel, um, which means it very well could be a sensor problem. But I'm gonna access this and then hop into the troubleshooting manual just so I'm doing stuff for the book. But more than likely, we're gonna pull a circuit breaker on this computer. It's gonna reboot and then we'll, uh, it'll test good once it reboots. But let's see what we got. some lights so our emergency power center is all the way up there so I'll have to get a ladder but let's uh, let's check the fault in the books first so I had mentioned to you guys what an info message looks like so this is the info icon that we get we also get a cyan info cast message and um, the info message come up on this page system info i'm going to try not to take too long to record this so air conditioning pressurization iasc 2a pressure sensor and op so we could then go to maintenance and pull our fault code and this is what it is i already pulled it up and then i'll pop it into this troubleshooting guide that we have here called smart fix plus that bombardier gives to us 21 triple 29 21 triple 29 iasc 2 uh, do, 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 do. So not much, but it is a latching fault. So all it takes is a brief moment of a miscompare between the two sensors. Um, Twenty seconds. So let me see where the IASC boxes are located. Carpet fuzz causing this. 21 0009 0029 ISC 2A. I removal. 219101 maintenance. Maintenance. 219101. Collapse menu. They are in the belly, forward. Okay, I remember where these are. All right, I'm gonna get in the belly. And you may, it may do something weird when I pull this circuit breaker. Uh, let me remember what circuit breaker it is. System, no, system, circuit breaker. System 21 IASC 
to a DC EPC 1A05. Alright, I'll be back. This is either going to work or we'll power it up and power it back down. <clears throat> All right, let's get a ladder, let's get in the hole. So, uh, this is the electronic equipment bay of the Global 7500. If you're familiar with the other Globals, uh, you're familiar with this hole, but they made it bigger, which is awesome. Because oh, I'm not a small gentleman. And I'm barely a gentleman. Oh God, let's get in here. And we just slide on our belly. All the way up. So here's our emergency power center. So, uh, what was it? Is this not our emergency? I have sworn this was our emergency. I may have to look it up because this should be IASC 2A. Uh, I'll double check that, but if we keep coming up here, one of these boxes is our to find it no 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 I am fly by wire power controller dual frequency converter Look further up I may need to get in the book again because I'm not seeing the IESC's Definitely not on here. You know what? This is a AC EPC. That's what it is. It's for our AC power. And we're just scooting back, trying to find our way to the hole. This might be it. Yeah, this is it. These are our IASCs. So one of the things the manual wants you to do is make sure these vents aren't clogged. So this is number one. And the vents look perfectly clean. And this is number two. And the vents also look perfectly clean. So we'll check. A05 on these. A05, there it is, ISC 2A. So we're gonna pull it. Gonna give it 15 seconds. And if this doesn't work, we're just gonna power cycle completely. There we go. Gonna run its bit check. We'll check what it's doing in the cockpit. So we'll pull up info over here. System info. Have you seen up in that helmet? Uh, I I saw. Uh, I, I got in. When, so the uh, info message is gone. In a, in a PFCC, PFCC. Okay, that cleared it. Awesome. So. So it's the first time we have one. Easy as that. Yeah. 
Okay, not so bad. That was a quick one. But that uh, essentially is the flow of um, you get a fault, you get an info message, you go to the manual, you see what the manual says. We did what the manual says, which was check the pressure ports on the IASC. Uh, they were clear, so then we just cycled power to that particular unit, hop back in the cockpit, no more info message, no more fault message. Uh, we just finished up the checklist that you guys have seen me do before, and no issues. Now she's happy and ready to go until something else breaks. So uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.